just the one I just the drink. Just this whiskers? Yeah. All right. I'll do it in English. I'll do it in English. You'll do it in Slavonic. Mm-hmm. You're going to do one in English? Two in English? One in English. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he granted life. Christos vos cres, Christos vos cres, vos cres, vos cres, vos cres, vos cres se is me. Živo, živo darovam, Isušim borobi, živo darovam. Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, by death he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he granted life. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, for high, for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, for all three with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
from other metropolitan William, for the Marable Presbyter of the Diacrine, Christ of all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government, for, for and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city committed for faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, forsake the suffering captain for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be the small affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Protect us, save us, and mercy us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious by understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all, be expression. Look with compassion on us and this holy church of Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, do all glory, honor, worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout out joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glory, us praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who, being immortal, deign for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorify with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, 
save us who sing to you. Alleluia. When you descended to death, O immortal life, you destroyed Hades by the brilliance of your divinity. And when you raise the dead from the depths of the earth, all the heavenly powers cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross. He wrapped it in a clean shroud, and with fragrant spices laid it in burial in a new tomb. But you, O Lord, arose on the third day, bestowing great mercy upon the world. The angel standing by the tomb cried out to the myrrh-bearing women, Myrrh is fitting for the dead, but Christ has shown himself not subject to corruption. So now cry out, the Lord is risen, bestowing great mercy upon the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your resurrection, O Christ <coughs> our God, you told the myrrh-bearers to rejoice, and you stilled the weeping of Eve, the first mother. You commanded your apostles to proclaim, the Savior is risen from the tomb. Now and ever and forever, amen. Although you descended into the grave, O immortal one, you destroyed Hades' power. You arose as a victor, O Christ God. You exclaimed to the myrrh-bearing women, Rejoice! You gave peace to your apostles and granted resurrection to the fallen. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. 
Zoras bieten te, peace be to all, wisdom bieten te. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance, and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I cry out, my God, be not silent to me. Save, Save your, your people, people O And bless your inheritance. A reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, as the number of disciples grew, the ones who spoke Greek complained that their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. As compared with the widows of those who spoke Hebrew, the twelve assembled the community of the <coughs> disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Look around among your own number, brothers, for seven men acknowledged to be deeply spiritual and prudent, and we shall appoint them to this task. This will permit us to concentrate on prayer and ministry of the word. The proposal was unanimous unanimously accepted by the community. Following this, they selected Stephen, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, Philip, Procris, Stephen, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, who had been converted to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who first prayed over them, and then imposed hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, while at the same time the number of the disciples of Jerusalem enormously, enormously increased. There were many priests among those who embraced their faith. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Wisdom or listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Joseph from Arimathea arrived, a distinguished member of the Sherintin. He was another who looked forward to the reign of God. He was bold enough to seek an audience with Pilate and urgently requested the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised that Jesus should have died so soon. He summoned the centurion and inquired whether Jesus was already dead. Learning from the centurion, that Jesus was dead, Pilate released the corpse to Joseph. Then, having brought a linen shroud, Joseph took Jesus down, wrapped him in the linen, and placed him in a tomb which had been cut out of rock. Finally, he rolled a stone across the entrance of the tomb. Meanwhile, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, observed where Jesus had been entombed. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought perfume oils in, with which they intended to go and anoint Jesus. Very early, just after sunrise, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. 
they were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked, they found that the stone has been rolled back. It was a huge one. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right, dressing, dressed in a white robe. This frightened them thoroughly, but he reassured them, You need not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, the one who was crucified. He has been raised up. He is not here. See the place where they buried him. Go now and tell his disciples and Peter, He is going ahead of you to Galilee, where you will see him just as he told you. They made their way out and fled from the tomb, bewildered and trembling. And because of their great fear, they said nothing to anyone. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. My daughter would not go to sleep the other day, and our kids are great sleepers, but that night she would just not want to go to bed. I think it was by God's providence that she did not want to sleep, because while I was holding her and rocking in a chair, I pulled out my phone, opened up a Kindle app, and I read a book that I bought too long ago. And the whole book was edifying, and it brought a lot of blessings. But I'd like to share with you the ending of the book, because I think we can be encouraged by it. You heard me preach about St. Paisius Wilczkowski. He is a Romanian saint who, in very basic terms, renewed faith and spiritual life in Romania. He is a very good saint to pray to if one wants to grow deep, more deeply in spiritual life. Monastery that St. Paisius built and rebuilt during his time flourished in asceticism, this practical way of living Christian life. And many vocation to monasticism, to priesthood came from that, to that monastery. And many other people, lay people, came for, to seek direction on how to live a life from those fathers who lived in the monastery. But after St. Pius' death, the monastery became less rigorous, both because of prosperity and because of the excessive freedoms they granted to the laity who visited the monastery. Some would bring their whole families and they would spend months at the monastery while engaging in worldly entertainments. And as we know, we can't, live, we, we can't live for both. So when monastery was engaged in these worldly affairs, it was already going downhill. The monks became more careful of their vineyards and gardens rather than of their spiritual life. And Abbot Sophronius, who succeeded St. Paisius, was well known for his serious spiritual life. He kept that rule that St. Paisius has given them, given him and his brothers. One morning, Elder Sophronius came out before the dawn out of the monastery gate, and he had there a fearful vision. He saw a demon in a military garb standing there guarding, as guarding his post. Abbot was terrified by this sight, and when he recovered himself, he Conversed with this demon and was told that the demon was the commander of forces of darkness assigned to rage war against this monastery and this monastic order and those who come and seek refuge. When St. Paisius was alive, the demons were not able to prevail because of his experience in spiritual warfare. Now, the demon said, his troops no longer are needed. And they have nothing to fear because the monks have grown cold, cool, 
in their spiritual pursuits and are taking up so many worldly cares that they are too busy. As things had progressed, fewer and fewer demonic legions, which is thousands, were required, which were required to be there, disappeared. They were not needed anymore. At this, the abbot, with deep pain, asked, Why have you remained? And the demon re revealed his true purpose being there. He said, It is true that we don't need to be here anymore and to fight against you, but because your love for God has grown cold and you have become engrossed with worldly and earthly affairs. But there is still one thing in this monastery that disturbs us and causes us anxiety beyond your belief. It is those filthy rags. I mean the books that you have in your library. We live in fear and trembling that in case any of your young monks ever take them into their hands and begin reading them again, once they begin reading those vile rags, they will learn of your ancient piety and your ancient hostility towards us. And the little young monks will begin raging war against us again. And then they'll teach that to the laity that comes. And the demon continues. He says, they learn that Christians of old, both lay and monastic, used to pray unceasingly the Jesus prayer. Fast, examine and confess their thoughts, keep vigils, and live as though they were foreigners and strangers to this world. Then, the simple-minded as they are, they actually begin putting that foolishness into practice. Furthermore, they even take all of the scriptures seriously. They rail and rail against us like wild beasts. And let me tell you, one of those hot-headed fools is enough to chase us all out of here. They become as unrelenting and uncompromising with, uh, with us as your executed leader, Savior Jesus Christ. We have come to have such peace now and concord with you. But those so-called spiritual books of yours are a constant source of hostility and discord. Why can't we have peace? Why don't you read my books? Why are, you, why are they not spiritual also? For I too am spirit, am I not? And I too inspire men to write books. And nowadays it's everything else, TV shows, radio. But, nah, but all that is needed is for one of those wretched rags which you call books to fall into the hands of some simple fool and the whole inferno begins and we are forced to flee and take up arms against you once more why am I sharing this vision of Elder Sophronius with you we live in a times where faith has become shallow or maybe not shallow but grandfathered in a kind of the same thing that has happened in the monastery of St. Paisius. We live our faith as best we, as we can. But the problem is that when with each generation, pieces of faith, pieces of truth fall out, fall, fall out of our lives and they disappear. And then we fill those blanks with our own understanding of what true, what true faith is. It's not good. We have to do our own due diligence that our faith and understanding of our faith is precise. Hence, that is why we have to rely on these filthy rags or books to give us the spiritual nourishment, spiritual guidance from saints, from the source. To take up these kind of books takes courage also. Fathers of the church, they teach and they say that once we start reading those books, our life will change. And while they are not miraculous books, one can read that book over and over again and has no impact on the person. 
a person who wants to genuinely learn from the fathers and take each sentence seriously as a guidance then they realize that those words are like mirror that show the person where they lack in their faith and what's missing in their faith and that's when the true change come into their life because they realize how much work they have to done to get done in order to actually live the true faith that we are supposed to be living but it takes courage the women in today's gospel show their love for truth through courage they went to Christ knowing that they can get beaten they can get killed by the Roman soldiers but they had pure courage they didn't care what will happen to them they wanted to go to the source and they knew what needed to get done so they set out and they did it we have forgotten what true God's love is what true God's mercy is and true God punishment is or judgment I should say we have forgotten and we filled those blanks with our own definitions what those things are to benefit our own lifestyle our own desires but then we don't live for God we don't live for Christ but we live for ourselves so let's take courage let's fill those blanks or with these wrong ideas about our faith with the words of our holy fathers and elders let them guide us and strengthen our faith a person who has an ST saint in front of them is a person we should trust the most because they are the most reliable person to get us to heaven you know I I wonder what would happen to our church in general if we as faithful would start reading these kind of books and leaving our faith more seriously I think we would grow and we will be become very beacon of hope to look for those who are lost Christ is risen Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. I think of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for Moses, and Metropolitan William, for those who serve, have served this holy church, for our spiritual father, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government, for all in the service of our country. Lord, Again, we pray for people here present who are rich, green, and mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For your merciful and loving God, may we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord. Ha <laughs>
Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares. Now set aside all earthly cares, all earthly cares. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares, now set aside all earthly cares, all earthly cares. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares. Now set aside all earthly cares. All earthly cares. May the Lord God remember His kingdom, my Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, my most remembered poet and William. The entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government, all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith always, now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all. Invisibly escorted by angelic hosts, invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the precious gift gives place before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant this through the mercies of your begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another day with one mind, we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. Salvation.
compassion, he came down from heaven and was in part of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. The third day according to the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming in again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Then in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the whole and offer in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you, and we praise you, dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out, out of not existence into being and again raised us and we have fallen. And we have nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and you begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know that we do not know. For the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which, uh, which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six wing minions roaring aloft on their wings. Singing, uh, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Oh. We also cry with these blessed powers of Kai Master and say, Holy are you and all holy you and your meek God and Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your meek God and Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he saw himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed sanctified broke and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying take it this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins Amen. drink of this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins Amen.
Remember, therefore, the seven command, all this come to pass, now we have the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second coming in glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God, pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer the spiritual body sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. A that which is in this child, the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Therefore, those who partake of them may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and counts in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in the faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just pray brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The angel exclaimed to her, full of grace, rejoice, O pure Virgin. And Your Son is risen from the grave on the third day, and has raised the dead. Rejoice, all you nations, shine in splendor, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. O Zion, now dance and be glad, and you who pure Theotokos, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. Among the first, O Lord, remember our Father Francis, Pope of Rome, Mother Metropolitan William, preserve them for your holy churches and peace, save the other house for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community are faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captain, grant them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bring offerings from good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor and upon all of us, and our new mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honor, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Amen. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts of and consecrated our God, who loves us all, may receive them his holy heavenly mystical treasures of our most spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with comfort and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven, and say. Yes.
Dušni daš nam jes i ostavi nam doli naša. Jako že im i oslavljajem dušnikom našim i ne veri na svoj iskušenije, no izbavi nas od luka. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. Through the grace, the mercies, and loving kindness of your begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory. Profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. Like the thief, I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest, praise Him in the highest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body. Receive the body of Christ. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Drink the source of immortality. Alleluia. 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 Great is the mystery. Great is the mystery. Great is the mystery. 
of your resurrection, O Christ. Great is the mystery of your resurrection. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. From the supper, from the supper, the immortal one, from the supper, the immortal one came willingly to the passion. From the supper, the immortal came willingly. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Then Hades, the accountant, and demander of souls. Hades the accountant and demander of souls was embittered at the encounter. Then Hades accountant and demander was embittered. <clears throat> Then Mary the anointer and worshiper of God. Then Mary the anointer and worshiper of God. Then Mary the anointer and worshiper of God. Rejoice, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell Peter and the other apostles, Peter and the other apostles, tell Peter and the other apostles that the immortal one has risen, that the immortal one has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We see the body Receive the body of Christ. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Drink the source of immortality. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Save your people, God, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness 
so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them, return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, give worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Glory to you, o Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death. And to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God risen from the dead have mercy and save us to the praise of his most pure mother and of the holy glories and illustrious apostles of our holy father john christus Thomas, bishop of constantinople and patron of this church and through the praise of all the saints for christ is good and loves us all christ is risen Thank you for a beautiful liturgy that you came and prayed. I would like to wish happy birthday to JD, Susan, John, and Patty. A lot of good celebrations. May God grant you many blessed years. Uh, please, the bulletin, there is a lot to talk about or a lot to read about. Next week, we'll have uh, baptism here in this church. So. Uh, there will be a Saturday's liturgy at St. John Baptist at 4 p.m. If you want to go there, you can go there. Okay, now, I made a survey. You can find it in your bulletin. And I would like you to get it done today, if you can. If not, by next Sunday. But, but please don't forget, it's a survey about the evening and morning and evening prayer booklet that I gave you. Uh, about the examination of conscience, and then I have a couple questions, couple questions on the bar, on the bottom. So, no names, it's anonymous, but I would like to hear from you about these couple of things that I've done in this great land, and see what steps I need to take to move forward. If you don't do them, we go, we won't go forward. I rely on your word and uh, your ideas. I have my ideas, but I want to hear from you first. So please, please get them done to me today or at the latest next Sunday. Also, I changed my homily last minute, and it was too late for me to put into bulletin a list of books that each family should have. 
uh, spiritual books, books that should be read constantly again and again. So next bulletin, please know that there will be a list of books that uh, I would suggest to you, and those suggestions come from, not just from me, but from trustworthy priests that I trust, so, uh, so you can start your own library and grow deeper. And if you have them, well, contact me, I'll give you more. All right. Have a wonderful Sunday, rest of, of the week, and if you need me, call me. God bless you. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life, and to us he granted life eternal. Let us bow before his resurrection on the third day. To servants of God, all parishioners of St. John Chrysostom, and to J.D., Susan, John, and Patty, grant over many years, Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he, he trampled death. By death, by death, he, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he, he granted, he, he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he, he granted life. By death he trampled death, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he granted life.